New tonight, a car hit and killed a bicyclist who was in a bike lane on Shelby Street right by UND. News 8's Eric Feldman has the latest in this investigation. Police believe uh, they found the vehicle, Eric? Yeah, that's right, Brennan. Police say that they found a silver SUV that they say they believe was the car that struck this bicyclist. The driver is still on the loose, and what really upset people we talked to is that the woman who was hit did absolutely nothing wrong. Now, in the meantime, one Indianapolis driver, he followed the suspect in his own car and captured the dramatic chase all on tape. On a typical Friday, serving customers at Joe's Shelby Diner, Elisa Reiner just happened to look out the window when... It's like I saw this stuff fly up and then it hit. It's like she just got hit on that bike. She bolted outside to help this bicyclist, who police say was walking her bicycle in the bike lane because she had a flat tire. It's tragic and it's sad and it's horrible. But it was too late. Meanwhile, Scott Harris saw everything happen and says he immediately started chasing the suspected driver. Who managed to flee? What? This guy just killed someone and ran. Meanwhile, back on Shelby Street, I just start crying because it's like somebody cares about this woman. Somebody. I just, it's not real yet. Joe Barton says he worked with the victim at a warehouse in Indianapolis, seeing her just hours before. I just asked her uh, where a screwdriver was. He describes his now former coworker as a hardworking mother to seven dogs. She was just full of energy and life and positive vibes. And now gone, even though she had a bike in the bike lane. Due to the carelessness of another person, um, this has happened. The bike lane doesn't make bicyclists we talk to feel safer. Oh, I have one yesterday. The guy was like, I mean, he's looking at me and coming on over. Close calls despite construction even despite the police tape. All it takes is one second. Somebody texting or what the hell ever it is, and somebody's going to be dead. And now as police look for the person Scott Harris says drives this car, a message from the victim's loved ones. They need to turn themselves in. Now, even though the people you just heard from say that Shelby Street has had plenty of close, close calls between cars and bikes, the IMPD sergeant we talked to says he hasn't heard about this being a concern in the area. This investigation is continuing, and if you think you know the person who is responsible, call Crime Stoppers immediately. That number, of course, 317-262-TIPS. By the way, that video that Scott Harris shot, we have that on our website, wishtv.com, if you need another look at him. Brenna. Incredible story there, Eric. Thank you.